Uh, hey guys, what up? Uh, Requiem here. This is a tutorial to show you how to burn and uh, play Xbox 360 games. I'm gonna start all the way from the beginning because uh, I've seen a lot of tutorials that like just show you and they don't really show you exactly what to do. So yeah, what you want to start with is open up uTorrent. Uh, when your game is finished, you want to open up containing folder. Uh, double click the first WinRAR archive and uh, just wait till this loads and let me see just extract this to anything you have let's say I have it on 360 games that's where I keep my stuff so let me just do that I'm not gonna do it because I already have it but um yeah that's what you want to do and yeah now after you have that done, what you want to do is start up, let me see, uh, ABGX360. This is to verify that your games are good. I mean, it, it's kind of outdated now, but um, it doesn't really matter. But uh, who cares, right? And in options, you want to have these checked. That's what I usually have because I like to see the achievements. And the verbosity level, that's just to show how much info it will show you. I mean, the difference between medium and high is not really that much, but I like to put high so that I can see the retail, like if it's a retail game, uh, how it was ripped, when it was ripped, and all this stuff. And uh, auto fix, uh, you want to put level 3 auto fix and uh, trust SSV2 angles. Um, rebuilding, you just put whatever you want here. And yeah, so let's just run up uh, Alpha Protocol. As you can see there, I had the mod by 8th. Yeah, that's just a little new mod that detects 5th and 6th wave, as you can see right here. And, uh, just wait, just gonna wait till this verifies. Yeah, you see, all of this information here is really not something to be worried about. I mean, like this right here, like that's not something to be worried about if you have it on like high. It's just info. But the only reason I have verbosity high is so that I can see all of these right here. You know, see disk source, the game name, the game attack of dude that did it, um, how it was ripped, and um, yeah, I just like to know the info and. Uh, I always have to check the game CRC to make sure it's all good and not play something that's really bad. You know, I'd rather not get banned, but um, yeah. Oh, this shit's going slow for some reason, I don't know why. Shitty ass connection. Uh, there you go, all verification was successful. Oh, um, don't forget to uh, go all the way over here to MISC and uh, for split vid, put add it if it doesn't exist or isn't valid. That's like a must for, uh, for what do you call it for the light touch firmware I, I just completely forgot to do that but yeah you might as well just have that done right there and uh, now that you have your game uh, what you want to do is that you want to go to image burn uh, they always have this little funny quote right here so it's not that funny but you know whatever at least they try <laughs> and uh, okay you want to select your DVD writer. I use my external one, of course. Uh, pick your. Now, this is an important part. This, just so you know, pick your image file or a .dot DVD. It's only one kilobyte usually, and the actual ISO is seven kilo, seven like million kilobytes. You see the thing. The thing is that the DVD, the .dot DVD, what it does is tell the burner 
how to burn the ISO. Like it's a layer break. And if you don't if you don't click that, like look image burn will automatically do it for you. See that right there? But other other type of burners won't. That's why I recommend image burn. But now look what happens when you click on the normal one. Let's try this one. See? No, it doesn't tell you anything. You're supposed to have the dot DVD. That's the way of telling the machine how to burn. Now, another important thing, I'm not putting in a disc because that's just like I don't need to do that. And I would take off verify because that'll take off a lot of time from the burning process. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I right, will give me a second. Let me just get a disc right quick. Okay, I just pl I just uh, put in a disc. Just give me like a second so for this thing to uh, verify. It. One sec. Uh, for speed over here, most people will tell you to put 2.4x, but like as you can see, when you put in a disc, I use TDK. These are beautiful; like they work all the time, and I never have a problem with them. Look over here; it's supported write speed. Uh, if I were to burn at 4x I would probably come out with a problem I don't know why that's just the way it works so I always burn at 8x and it takes me like 15 minutes but that all depends on what your drive can support like as I was saying before most people will tell you 2.4 but that's just being safe and that'll take like 40 minutes easily so if it can go any higher just try that but like don't overdo the drive you might have like one bad burn figuring out what you could do but um, it's definitely worth it in the long run so you don't have to spend 40 minutes burning one game. So yeah, what you want to do is you have all of this here. Unclick verify like I said. Uh, write speed, I, I would put 8 and I only really want one copy. So when you're ready, remember the dot .dvd, when you're ready just click this and your game will be done in approximately 20 minutes depending on whatever speed you put. So yeah, this is the end of the tutorial. Hope it helped you. Uh, any questions just post it in the comments and um, yeah